Okay, yeah, so I'm kind of like continuing on a series with um, magazines and uh, newspapers and things. And now, usually it seems that most of the time it's subscription-based. Um, you can find a few free ones that are actually quite good. And uh, I'll show you a few of my favorites. Um, and let me see if I can find it in here. Uh, USA Today, now... I'm guessing that's probably just in America. Uh, I don't know if you can access it from another country. Maybe. Um, um, but USA Today is pretty much the same format. Uh, I love the format because it, it integrates uh, nice graphics and pictures. As you can see now, it's actually updating. And you can actually put your location on the left-hand side for weather. So you can customize that. Here we're showing 81 degrees and uh, a little bit of the forecast. And uh, this is what the front of it looks like. This is where your main uh, uh, news section is right here. And it's quite comprehensive for uh, a magazine, a uh, free one as far as I could tell. Who knows, maybe later on they'll charge a subscription. But uh, for now, all the news is entirely free. If you click on the USA Today on the left-hand side, it'll bring up your different sections and of course money sports life tech and travel um, usually I prefer local newspapers because um, you know then I can get the local news but if I'm away from the area and then normally I'll just uh, just use the USA Today and surprisingly since I'm a tech show um, they do have quite a comp uh, comprehensive uh, tech section um, where I can still keep up to date on some of the tech news uh, right here and I believe, let me see, let me go back to the, uh, the beginning. Uh, I believe you can also scroll through all those sections to, uh, oh no, just the top section, excuse me. Okay, um, pretty much the sections you're going to find in the USA Today, I believe. Um, there's the money section, uh, sports, for you guys who like sports, uh, life, which I like, uh, in addition to um, the front page news and the tech. And uh, travel, and it's quite a good magazine uh, for being free. And another thing we're going to look at is MacWorld uh, for you Mac guys. Uh, I don't know if that's available. I uh, I think it might be just uh, here in America. I'm not sure. I got a lot of you know UK and uh, Australian viewers, and uh, now it, it pretty much has the same format. Um. And it updates, you know, once you open it up. And now sometimes it'll it'll keep the same story in there, but only certain sections will change. But um, it might even change um, from day to day. So it's not like a regular issue where you get to wait next month, um, which is nice. You can just, you know, go through here. And obviously you can either scroll through the, uh, let me see, Eight, eight sections it's got. Now here on the left it's for your bookmarks for um, cer certain articles you want to bookmark. That's all the way to the left. Uh, you can either flip through it each section or you can go sections at the top and you got the uh, top stories, Mac, iOS, Business Center, iPod Entertainment and so on. And uh, okay let me close that out and it, it's quite a good magazine. Uh, the stories are laid out quite well uh, with pictures and photographs and a uh, good way to keep up there. As you can see, um, look on the top left hand side, you see it's grayed out. Uh, some of uh, these are grayed out and some of the stories are in black. The grayed out sections are just showing the ones that I've already read. So as you can see, uh, some get updated depending on uh, what day they come out and things like that. So. And that printer one's been there forever. And uh, we'll scroll away all the way the, to the end. As you notice, the each section, it'll show the very top what section you're in. We're in digital photos right here. And a camcorder review, which I like. And we'll go to the very beginning. And, and that's pretty much it. And uh, I wanted to show some of the uh, magazines and uh, newspapers uh, out for the iPad.